Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome back to Puppeteer! Last time, we started chasing after horse and bull, and they weren't giving us the time of day, but we did help out a bunch of local critters. This time, we're going further into the wild waste and hopefully getting horse and bull's attention in Curtain 2. Bull and horses' drive-bys had left the wild waste in chaos, but despite bagging a gunslinger with the wrestler's power, Kutaro still couldn't get Bull and Horse to give him the time of day. He wandered off feeling low. Real low. Now back to Kutaro's tale. I guess that's another important point. We got the wrestler powers. The last of the champions. Would you believe Bull and Horse were once happily married? He was easy, she was breezy, and they cared for and cherished each other. Until, that is, they were given moonstone shards, and, well, trouble in paradise. Bull grew brawny and boastful, while horses' gait and ego alike gained frightening momentum. Of all the Moonbear King's generals, they could have been an unstoppable pair. But instead, they fell to petty squabbling and name-calling. Meanwhile, Kutaro was still stinging from his treatment at the hands of Mr. and Mrs. Livestock. He knew sticks and stones could break his poor puppet bones, but he couldn't put a name to what he felt now. Those arrogant beasts hadn't even given him the time of day. He felt like a nobody, and that was tough medicine to swallow. Katara, what's wrong? You look blue. What's that on your face? Whoa, check this out! It's you, Kataro! Wanted, dead or alive, for the dastardly theft of Calibris and the Moonstone. Approach with extreme caution. Whoa! Look at the zeros on this bounty! Holy smokes! They're plastered all over the place! You must be famous. No, infamous. Nah, what am I saying? Bull and Horse blew you off big time. Maybe if you were taller, or like, grew a mustache or something. Oh well, don't sweat it. Kutaro, what's wrong? Hey, wait up! Was it something I said? Kutaro was on a mission now. His pride had been wounded, and beating the Bull and Horse was the only band-aid. Our young hero was like a different person. He hunted down the generals with a newfound fury. Those two could be halfway across the moon by now. I just absolutely love the infamous reference. When Picarina says infamous and he gives a blast of red lightning. It's a nice little referential nod to Sony's games. Also that poor little grub just trying to clean the wanted billboard and then he gets killed. Uh, life of a grub is never easy. So, we're here on the road, chasing after them. Let's go ahead and launch ourselves along the path. <laughs> like the view, Get your butt out of my face! <laughs> Catch me if you can! <laughs> How dare that stupid steer block the road! That's cheating! I can't believe you let traps for me, you creep! I could have avoided it! Yeah, this is not going to be fun following after them. What's with those bikes? And why are they riding alongside us? Well, they're... Ow. They're trying to get in our way, but if you examine them, you get a soul from each. Make sure to examine all four of the bikes you see. And if you get them early, they won't block your path. There we go. Got all four of them. Unfortunately, I wasn't going fast enough to jump the first one. <laughs> Hold me! Whoa! Those dummies took out the railroad bridge! Hurry up! The telephone poles are coming down! <sighs> that was close. You planning to catch them before the sun goes down or what? Kutaro was frustrated, and Picarina's insensitive remarks were only making him angrier. Now before we go on, check some of these barrels. Inside most of them you won't find anything, but inside this one, 
One of the wooden puppets! Yeah, that's the only one you actually have to check. Also, check out this sign before we move on. Here's a sign you can't miss. A real cow? Eh, well, it's the worst that could happen with a cow in the road. Oh, a stupid cow! It knocks a steak out of him and he runs off. Well, the good thing is, cut through the steak and we get... The steak head! Definitely worth getting. Mm, making me hungry thinking about steak. And I love the design of this level. So twisty and turny. Out of my way! I got here first, do not! Now's your chance! Slam him! Before you slam him, check this barrel to the top left. It's hard to see, but there's a grub there. Check him again. To kill him off. Now, slam him. Adios, jump! Ugh, horse got away! After her! Despite having finally landed his first hard-earned blow on General Bull, Kuturo still hadn't made a blip on the couple's radar. All they cared about was their race. Yeah, unfortunately that's the case, so chase after him and see if you can't get their attention. <laughs> no kidding. Kutaro had had it up to here with being ignored. He was going to get Bull and Horse's attention. Violent fantasies flashed across his mind. All right. Well, come on. Give me the six shooter. Yes. Violent fantasies, huh? I don't care if that sign says no guns. We're gonna shoot him. Do it, Kutaro. It says no guns. Here comes the highway patrol. Don't tell those coppers nothing. I'll get you a lawyer. Yeah, I love it. You get arrested. Shots were fired on Route 66 today, shortly after high noon. Charged with the disturbance was Kataro, a puppet, who Moon Police apprehended on the scene for possession of a loaded firearm. A moonwide APB for the suspect was already out in connection with the theft of calibers from Castle Grizzlestein and a recent string of Moonstone heists. Don't worry. The leading man may get thrown into jail, but he always breaks out. It's like a trout. Breaking news. We've just received reports that accused scissor thief and moonstone smuggler Kataro has escaped from prison. Police are urging all law-abiding grubs to stay vigilant and avoid confronting the suspect, who is considered armed and snippy. So, as you can see, you've got searchlights looking for you. If you hit them, it doesn't end the bonus stage, but it does cut down on the time you have to collect all the moon sparkles, so you want to avoid them. And here, whoop, duck behind some barrels hanging out there. I can get this one? Yes. I love the design of this bonus stage. It's different from any other one. Of course, they're all pretty different from each other, which is part of what makes this game so good. And whoop. Avoid. Don't get spotted. I also love that as we're going along, we're freeing other puppets who are trapped behind, you know, various bars. We're staging a mass breakout here in this, you know, moon prison. Uh, oop, missed. Come on. Get out of my way, spotlights. Here we go. Just a little more to go. Uh... No, don't get spotted. Okay, come on. This is getting ridiculous. There we go, finally. Thought I was gonna start running out of time there for a second. And I absolutely love that we free all of those puppets. And now we go back to our road race. Huh, it's back again. Ah, and we're back to the Moon Witch Head. All right, move onward. Come on, there we go. Avoid all the damage. This is starting to get really hazardous. That sounds like a great idea. Oh no! The tanker's caught fire! Run for your life! 
The hungry fire chased after Kuturo with the ferocity of a wild animal. As you can see here, if you pick the wrong way, lots of cactuses you gotta cut through. Do not pick the wrong way. It will take you a lot longer to get through. I finally lost her. Not that I had any doubts. Let's knock this drum can over and send Bullhead for a loop. There's Bull, hanging out at the edge of the crevasse. Crevice. Bull's having gravity issues. Let's overtake him. There's another drum can. Let's stop him for good. Here we go. Smash it. Another oil slick. I've been stunned. Now, slam this beefsteak once and for all. The blast had left Route 60 sticks on the verge of collapse. Yes, the ground looked ready to do that thing where it crumbles just inches behind the fleeing hero. Well, I guess let's give it the opportunity. This is such a cool aesthetic look where everything's crumbling. Here we go. And this is also nice. It gives you enough warning to know which path to pick that'll make it easier to avoid danger. I will win. I have to. Win. No. Oh, she looks ready to keel over. Let's put her out of her misery. Good idea. One more slam. Oh gosh, I'm electrocute her. Look what you've done, you killer! I was seconds from winning! How dare you make me forfeit the race! I was about to beat this bovine! Oh, yeah? <clears throat> well, now you can fight Kataro instead. <clears throat> fight this pathetic pipsqueak! <laughs> oh, maybe when he's out of diapers. What's the matter? Chicken? <clears throat> oh, what <clears throat> did you say? <clears throat> Gonna run back to your chicken coop? How dare you call me a barnyard animal? <laughs> we pulverize you! First one to the train station wins! Whoa! Hey, wait just a darn second. You're supposed to duel, not race. What's wrong? Throwing in the towel? Why even try when you know you're going to lose? You're a loser, Kutaro! They should call you, I'm gonna lose, Taro! Wait, wait, mine's better! Doesn't follow through, Taro! Oh, whatever! <laughs> Fine, if you want to race, we've got one condition. You have to wager your Moonstone Shards. If Kataro takes first, you cough up the family jewel. My Moonstone Shard? Hey, <laughs> real tiny, I'm not that stupid! You should be honored just to gallop with the big girls. Oh, I see how it is. You're the one scared of losing. Guess you better pack it in now, you pack animal. Wouldn't want to take any chances. You might end up buying the farm. <laughs> Fine. The Moonstone. You have yourself a deal, sister. But when this is over, I'm going to wipe that smirk right off your face. Oh, I just love Picarina's taunts. She's great at really, you know, getting horse and bull mad. And the horse looks a bit different. This is not going to be as easy as we thought. We've got a locomotive versus our little tiny steed. And this is also another section where we need to avoid taking damage. Ducking and jumping over everything. It's a little tougher than the previous one, but we can manage it. Let's be off. And the runners are off. Kutaro bursts from the gates, but in front is General Horse, it's General Horse. Behind in second is Kutaro no head, it's Kutaro no head. He's clearing the obstacles and closing ground, but General Horse is keeping him a few lengths behind. Oh, dynamite, cacti, scorpions, and bones. Crush my ride. And now Kutaro pulls inside to try and cut in and take the lead. A carrot! Yeah, you want to try and take the upper paths whenever possible. Is on General Horse's back. A horse is a horse. Of course, of course. But this one's a train that's using force. If she's going to cheat, then I say let's gallop on down this filly and show her what's what. 
Sounds like a good plan to me. Unfortunately, they've got grubs who are helping them cheat. Now, the take no damage rule continues here. You have to make sure not to take any damage up on the train. Eh, give me another head. I don't like the submarine one. Gopher's at least fitting for this world, or prairie dog, rather. Slam it, and back to the horse. And another burst of speed. Look at Kudro go. He's going for broke. Jump again. Again, take the upper path whenever you can. Kudro on the inside. He's showing no mercy with that whip as he closes the gap with General Horse. No mercy. What a whipping. Whew. Not too bad. It will get more intense as we go. Ooh, like right there. Hey, we're back on the train. This is unbelievable, folks. A cattle car that carries lions. No tigers or bears? Oh my. You know what? Let's set this lion free. Examine the lock, and he'll get to leave his cage. Be free, king of the beasts! And we even get a lion head out of the deal. If you didn't know any better, you might have thought Picarina was on vacation. Excuse me for living in the moment. Now you can see it's swinging its trunk around real fast. If you get caught by that, it'll hurt. So time your jump to get past it without taking any damage. And now, back over here, take on this scrub. Got him. Slam this train. And we're back on the horse once more. Oh good, done with the second section, or first section rather. Now remember, you can use the trick of select act here, but we're gonna earn this honestly. And we're back in the race. Dynamite is raining down, bones are being magic back to life. Cacti, scorpions, kudros jumping and sliding through the steeplechase from hell. Heh, <laughs> no kidding. That is the part that always makes me nervous when I play through here. Here we go. He's on the passenger car now. And what better way to soak in the moonscapes than from the lavish seat of a classic locomotive. <laughs> Sound the whistle. Stoke the coals. Today, you're riding on the Horsey Andrew Express. Hello? Life and death race speaking! As you can see, we have to go over here, but there are giant purple spikes that are coming by. You want to make sure not to get too high while riding the smoke, because those will hurt, obviously. Oh, a giraffe! Having a long neck must be awesome. Hello, we're not at the zoo. Life and death race speaking, right? Indeed. And be careful, because that giraffe neck will put you right in the path of the spike rod. So, you do not want to get hit by it. You can, however, block, and it won't cause you to forfeit the trophy. Now here, we've got a slam point, but you want to ignore it. Go up higher, up to the right. I didn't make it far enough, did I? Oh, I got it! Good. Yeah, you have to fall on that moon sp or the hundred sparkle from way up high. Here we go. Uh, come back! No! Darn it. That's okay. Just wait for him to come down again. Guard. There we go. Seriously, the knight's shield is so awesome. There we go. Slam it! Kutaro had run his horse across the wild waste, caught up with a locomotive, ridden on the back of said locomotive, and boy was his butt sore. Yeah, no surprise. Look out! Boulder! Another! Bleached bones like sharpened fangs! Scorpions! Kudaro's horse is on the bit as he shrugs off every danger! This is seriously a nasty place to ride a horse through. Of course, I guess they don't call it the Wild Waste for nothing. Here we go, getting closer and closer. Between slicing through smokestack plumes and dodging flaming coals, Kutaro had a busy time of reaching the front of the train. 
Now here, make sure to jump over these. This is, we're nearing the end. It would be a really bad place to get hit and forfeit that trophy. We can do it. And smash her. Yes, finally. Kutaro was aboard the finest train this side of Neptune. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be in his shoes. Uh, horseshoes. Ah, whatever. Now that area there, you got to kill those grubs fast because they will swarm you and you do not want to get hit. Not when we're so close to the end. Also, there's two more. One sometimes hides right in this doorway where you can't see him. Now, let's have a look at the Horsey Antel Express's award-winning dining car. The lacy white tablecloths, the thick, juicy steaks. The completely annoying train geeks. You know what? This does seem like a good place to enjoy a good steak. Switch to the steak head and use it. And it switches from a fancy feast to... For the love of calories! Not even I can eat this! <laughs> a giant steak with fries. And a whole bunch of cows running by. So yeah, doesn't really do anything except change up the scenery and give you a bounce pad. But here we go. F moving further on. Jump. Slice through the clouds. We're almost there. Kutaro is right on General Horse. Right on her. He's in the straight. The post is in sight. Follow that cold smoke, kid. Ride like the wind. You're almost there. Go for home. You can do it. And smash her. And with that, smashes through the tender behind General Horse, derailing her. She throws the emergency brake as Kudaro overtakes her. First place, Kudaro. First place, Kudaro. We get the locomotive head. Daddy, looks like the town's celebrating. Thank you. Thank you. That was not a real victory. And if it was, it was over her, not over me! After all the dismissals, Kutaro had finally gotten horse to throw down, and it felt good. As you see, we got the trophy for strapping jockey. That's for taking no hits. I'm gonna snort you to kingdom come! Say your prayers. Don't stand in front! Get behind her! Easier said than done. Only the latest in high-tech gadgets. Alright, and inspect. Yep, check bull when you slam to get the horse head. <laughs> ah, which also gets us headhunter. It's not Ooh. so easy to put a dent in top grade moon mine steel. My car uses an MMS construction, and it's been running for more than 30 years. <laughs> They're on our six! Turn it around! I am trying! So yeah, headhunter is for getting 50 different heads. Ooh, ow. Darn it. Wow, the horse head just flew out of there. All right, Can you give me another one? No. It's that yucky smoke. Watch the fire. Gets a little more perilous each time we have to go up, but we got this one, Smasher. Hey, hey is for horses. General Horse's internal pressure was steadily galloping toward a boil and trying to contain it did terrible things to her temper. Had she consulted a doctor earlier, this terrible tragedy might have been averted. Yeah, help her let off some steam. One more slam ought to do it. No, it won't. Here we go. We're almost there. I think she might spin one more time. Yep, and it's missile time. Here we go. Give it a blast. And right up. Now this time, <laughs> so much smoke. watch the lights and it'll tell you which side you need to pick when it comes to a path. There we go. Now hit her one more time and we're done with General Horse. <laughs> Ooh, that had to hurt. Time for the final QTE showdown. <laughs> now you really got me lathered. Prepare to die! 
Nag missiles locked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See who wins when you fight fair and square? Look, Kataro! The sixth Moonstone Shard. If you little twerp, you may have defeated Horse, but I'm still... No! Look out! Run! No, no. Kataro! No! I challenge you to a duel in the Colosseum! Kutaro and Picarina hurtled into the sky and far, far away. <laughs> far, far away they flew. Kutaro and Picarina flew far. <gasps> And they landed. <clears throat> they landed. No! Don't land already. Oh, hey. Wow. I'm okay. Kataro, you got all your parts? Come on, quit messing around. Look at this place. Like, where are we? I mean, donde estamos? Yep, we landed in a very strange place, part a strange part of the wild waste. But for defeating Horse, we get a trophy. The flawed couple. <laughs> I love it. With a flash of Calibrus, Kutaro felled the frightful monster and freed the soul of every last child in the fiend's clutches. Well done, Kutaro. The souls he freed were homeward bound. And that puts us over 300 souls saved, 302 to be exact. And specifically for saving 296, which is half of all the souls, we should get a trophy. Soul Searcherer. <laughs> nice follow-up to the Soul Searcher trophy we got at the start. That opens up Curtain 3. We're not going to take care of that this episode. That'll come next time. Let's look at the heads we've collected. We've gotten a lot of them. Seriously, how many different heads will Kutaro have by the end? I mean, it's crazy. And I still haven't used that guitar action. We're holding on to that. Very soon we'll be able to use it. The stake, which honestly is kind of creepy. That's right, the fork and knife are stuck in the eye spots and he eats a piece of himself. <laughs> The lion, majestic and proud. I kind of like that. The locomotive is so cute, it looks like a knockoff Thomas the Tank Engine. And of course, a horse with makeup. Yeah, that's a kind of disturbing face. Let's just say that. So three more heads to find next chapter, or curtain or whatever it's called. We're going to hit that up in the next episode. For now, if you've enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter. I'll see you guys next time.